ओके क्वेश्चन फाइव एथेनॉल इज मैन्युफैक्चर बाय टू डिफरेंट प्रोसेस फॉर ईच प्रोसेस नेम द ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्टेंट एंड स्टेट द टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन एथेनॉल कैन बी मैन्युफैक्चर बाय टू वेज वॉट आर द रिएक्टेंट विच रिजल्ट और फॉर्म एथेनॉल one is by i will give you a hint one is by reaction with steam another one is in the presence of yeast which is having enzyme so if i want to prepare ethanol by first reaction yeah that's correct ethene that's called addition and type of reaction so ethene react with steam it will form ethanol and the type of reaction is addition reaction or hydration can also be used the term hydration refers to addition of water and uh, the second one you can mention what is the organic reactant for the second process for manufacturing ethanol is by fermentation here type of reaction hydration addition you can mention addition or specifically addition of a water is called hydration so you can say hydration here organic reactant for manufacture of so we use glucose and what kind of reaction is this it's called fermentation alcohol can be oxidized to form carboxylic acid name a suitable oxidizing agent yesterday we discussed the name of oxidizing agent to convert alcohol to carboxylic acid what is that oxidizing agent no phosphoric acid is a catalyst ya yeah, potassium manganese 7 is an oxidizing agent for the, phosphoric acid is a catalyst for the hydration reaction potassium manganese 7 right potassium manganese 7 reason for that because it's a better oxidizing agent give a higher yield so you will find in the marking scheme the many time repeat potassium manganese 7 and acidified potassium manganese 7 the best one use the term acidified because in acidic condition it is more effective and when you write the valency you use a roman number so put acidified potassium manganese 7 alcohols can be partially oxidized to form aldehyde aldehydes are also another type of organic compounds you don't have to bother about aldehydes because aldehydes are another type of organic compounds alcohols are partially oxidized to form aldehyde and aldehydes are homologous are homologous series of organic compound means in a level you will learn about aldehyde i will give you a example what is aldehyde means aldehyde means if a compound contains c double bonded with o nh that's called aldehyde but this is not part of o level so you they will not ask direct question related to aldehyde a partial oxidation is achieved by reaction of alcohol with oxidizing agent in in a distillation apparatus we have a round bottom flask name apparatus a what is this apparatus called what we call this apparatus a condenser or a liebig condenser
on a diagram use an arrow to show where the water enter in the printer so where the water enter from top or from bottom the water will enter always from the bottom and leave the top the this is a water jacket so cold water will enter the water will absorb the energy from this vapors and it will go out it's used as a coolant here as a condenser so water is used as a coolant here like it's used to remove the energy from the vapors the table shows some information about aldehydes ethanol propanol butanol deduce the journal formula of aldehyde you have to deduce the journal formula for aldehyde can you deduce the journal formula of aldehyde from this figure from the like the first aldehyde is c yeah, Second is C two H four O. Third is C three N C N H two N O. Yeah, C N H two N O. So you deduce the journal formula of aldehyde. And aldehyde, the name will end at al. You can see al here. That's their name is ending at al. The structural formula of ethanol is given. Okay. C double bonded with O group in aldehyde is at the end. Sir, it's the same as alcohol. Uh, I mean, same idea like alcohol. Yeah. yeah, it is same same like al because alcohol oxidizes to form aldehyde. C double bonded with O group of aldehyde is at the end of a carbon chain, and this is reactive part of molecule. we have to complete the table i missed the first part so what is the name here what will be the name of first member methanol 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 meth because one carbon n because single bond and all because of aldehyde and what will be the formula here c4h8o c4h8o so you can see here aldehyde directly aldehyde is not part of your syllabus so i told you they will not ask reaction of aldehyde they just give you a hint of the question like your understanding of related to organic compound and they ask question predict the journal formula so these type of questions because there are many types of organic functional group in organic chemistry and you just learn only alcohols alki you learn about alcohols carboxylic acid and ester what is the name given to a reactive part of an any organic molecule the part of organic molecule which is reactive what we call this branch we call that as a functional group yeah functional group. means the part of a molecule which is responsible for reaction we call that part as a functional group then you have to complete a dot and cross diagram for this you did in uh, chapter 3 hydrogen and carbon single bond so if this is hydrogen then this is carbon there should be a pair of electron a single bond between them then oxygen and carbon have a double bond so for hydrogen i should use a different symbol because oxygen also there is a cross so for hydrogen i am using a complete shape or a circle i can use then this is carbon then they have a bond between them and the bond between oxygen and carbon is it clear the structure of methanol 
just a dot and cross diagram. You have already have the structure. Use the structure to draw this dot and cross diagram. Propenone belongs to a homologous series called ketone. So this is also another organic compound on another organic compound series, ketones. Ketone have the same C double bonded with O, but C double bonded with O group is not at the end. Like what happened? In aldehyde, the only difference between aldehyde, aldehyde contains C double bonded with O, carbon and that carbon is always at the last but in case of ketone this carbon will be not at the last somewhere in the center so, if you so see sir, what is the difference between uh, aldehyde and aldehyde compound one? aldehyde if c double bonded with o is at the last we call aldehyde if c double bond their reactions are different that's why we call name them as a different functional group so c double bonded with o is there at the center, we call that as ketone. So the question is, but the C double bonded O group is not at the end of a carbon chain. Propenone has the same molecular formula as propenol. What term is used to describe molecule with different structure, but with same molecular formula? What we call that? If two molecules have different structures but they have same molecular formulas so we call them as isomers suggest the structure of propenone so you have to draw the structure of propenone prop means three carbon okay and because it's propenone means ketone. So as they mentioned, the C double bonded with O group should be at the center. So C double bonded with O group will be at the center. And then complete the hydrogen. This carbon form one bond. So it will have three hydrogen. So this is a structure of propane on. If I say the same question was there, draw the structure of propenol instead of propenone, it was propenol, aldehyde. So prop means three carbon. And if it's an aldehyde, the C double bonded with O group should be at the last. And then just put hydrogen. This will have one hydrogen. This will have one hy two hydrogens. And the last, the left hand side carbon will have three hydrogen. And you can see here, if I write a molecular formula, it is C3H6NO. And previous structure, when I draw propenone, when I draw propenone, that was also having C3H6NO. But the only difference is the position of C double bonded with O. If it's at the center or between the two carbon atoms or between the chain, we call ketone. And it's, you can see its name is coming ketone, O-N-E. You can see here, the name is ending at O-N, propenone. And if it was aldehyde, A-L, the aldehyde, then the name was ending at A-L. Is it clear, this question? So basically you have to draw the structure of uh, propenone, but I give you an example so that you can distinguish between the two structures, aldehyde and ketone. But I repeat aldehyde and ketone, they will not ask reactions of aldehyde. You can see here in this question as well, if 